wondering what does arrondissement actually mean? The arrondissements of Paris are administrative districts. Paris is divided into 20 arrondissements, referred to as the 20 little cities. And they are in the shape of a turtle, as you can see. In each arrondissement, there are a whole town, a council, elected officials, etc. In this video, I will be showing you each arrondissement with its main characteristics so you can take a look at all of them and maybe it could help you to plan your next trip to Paris. Let's get started. Let's start with the first and second arrondissement, the heart of Paris. These are the oldest and most central districts in the city. For centuries, here was the seat of royal power in France, centered on the Louvre Palace. Today you will find many classic attractions, mainly the Louvre Museum, Palais Royal, Jardin des Tuileries in the first arrondissement and Bourse in the second arrondissement. In addition to the first and second arrondissement, the third arrondissement is one of the most popular among tourists. Besides its stunning architecture, it is home to some of the city's most exquisite boutiques and art galleries. The Marais, encompassing the third and fourth arrondissement, is one of the oldest and most charming quartiers of the city. The fourth arrondissement is situated on the right bank of River Seine and also includes half of the island of Ile de la Cité and the whole of Ile Saint Louis. The fourth arrondissement includes some famous Parisian monuments such as the Gothic Cathedral of Notre Dame and the modern Pompidou Centre. The 5th arrondissement, or the Latin Quarter, dates back to when Paris was a Roman settlement. Here you will find the Panthéon, Sorbonne, Rue Mouffetard, the bustling Market Street and the winding cobblestone streets of Old Paris. It's also where you will find some of the best food markets in the city. The Latin Quarter may be the most well-known district of Paris. In fact, the name of the Quartier dates back to the time when the languages spoken by students at university was Latin. One of the prettiest and fanciest areas in Paris, and one of my favorites, the 6th arrondissement was in the 19th century and the earlier part of the 20th century the haunt of both the French existentialists and the Americans of the Lost Generation. Home to the Jardin du Luxembourg and the Church of Saint-Germain-des-Prés, it also holds very nice shopping streets and fancy cafés. The 6th arrondissement is probably the most expensive district in Paris. The iconic Eiffel Tower and its Champ de Mars Park lie in this magical 7th arrondissement. Home to Les Invalides and Orsay Museum, it is one of the most charming districts of Paris and reflects the cosmopolitan character of the city. It also houses many governmental monuments such as the Assemblée Nationale, many ministries, embassies, etc. The 8th arrondissement is home to the most emblematic monuments of the capital. 
In the center of the Place Charles de Gaulle stands the majestic Arc de Triomphe. That's the point where the 16th, 17th and the 8th arrondissement meet. At the bottom of the Arc, the mythical avenue of the Champs-Élysées stretches over two kilometers between shopping addresses, fancy restaurants, theaters, cinemas and luxury places. The Champs-Élysées is known to be the most popular avenue in the world. Two enormous Belle Epoque Grand Magasins, Galerie Lafayette and Au Printemps, dominate a bustling shopping district in the 9th arrondissement lined with French and international brand name stores. But that's just the start of what you will discover in the elegant 9th district, known for its sweeping boulevards and classic Osmanian architecture. The opulent Palais Garnier attracts sell-out crowds for performances by the Paris Opera and Paris Opera Ballet. Less obvious, a large number of multinational companies and banks also call the 9th district home, making this area, along with parts of the 2nd and 8th districts, the city's largest business district. What Brooklyn is to New York City, the 10th arrondissement is to Paris. It's young and hip and the perfect place to find restaurants, boutiques, and bars. Many also pass through the 10th, hoping on a train from the Gare du Nord or Gare de l'Est, two of the main train stations in Paris. Home to three of the city's most famous squares, the 11th arrondissement is a less crowded area where Parisians gather to relax and enjoy themselves. Stretching from Place de la Bastille to portions of Canal Saint-Martin, This is the area that doesn't necessarily have many museums, but it does have plenty of beautiful streets, squares, cafes and restaurants. These squares are often used as the rally point for demonstrations in Paris. The 11th arrondissement is also known to have a strong focus on sustainable development. Paris's 12th arrondissement, also known as Arrondissement de Reuilly, is well known for its green landscapes and woods such as the Coulée Verte or Bois de Vincennes, and is particularly enjoyable for its peaceful and quiet atmosphere. Formerly, it was a village of craftsmen and merchants. This is why you will find places such as Bercy Village, which are here to keep its past identity alive. Although not as popular with visitors as some other Parisian districts, the 13th arrondissement offers, however, a handful of hidden gems, including everything from feasting on Southeast Asian food in Paris's Chinatown and doing an engaging street art tour to hiking the hilly cobblestone lines of charming Butte aux Cailles. The 13th arrondissement is home to various Asian communities and is one of the most affordable places to live in. One of the largest Paris districts, the 14th is located up against the southern boundary of the city. It is also the district of some of the most interesting sites of Parisian undergrounds, the catacombes. The 
the 15th arrondissement is the largest and most populated district in Paris. More family-friendly than touristy, this district is nevertheless very pleasant and full of little treasures to discover. Located on the right bank of the Seine, the 16th arrondissement is one of the most prestigious in Paris. Its green environment and its proximity to the best schools are among its assets. The 16th arrondissement is the greenest in the French capital. You will find many gardens and green parks such as the famous Bois de Boulogne, a huge park of 864 hectares, twice as large as Central Park in New York. The infrastructures dedicated to sports such as the Roland Garros Stadium or the Parc des Princes are also located in this beautiful district. The 17th arrondissement is very contrasted. To the southwest, this arrondissement is bourgeois, calm and peaceful, with beautiful Osmanian architecture. To the northeast, this arrondissement is more popular. There are no major museums or monuments, but for lovers of modern architecture, the Palais de Justice and the buildings around the Parc des Batignolles are worth a look. In the north of Paris, the 18th is a multicultural, dynamic and unusual district. Around the Sacré Coeur, Montmartre has kept a small village atmosphere and welcomes millions of tourists every year. Around the Barbès station, however, the district is more popular and the population is massively issued from the immigration of North Africa. This district is very exotic and with a strong identity. Considered to be the most affordable arrondissement in Paris, the 19th is a cosmopolitan area and is in permanent transformation. It is more and more appreciated by families thanks to its numerous green spaces. I honestly like this arrondissement so much. Although it is reputed as one of the most dangerous, I never felt anything during my stay for one year. Parc des Buttes-Chaumont, located in the 19th arrondissement, is my favorite park in Paris. Lastly, the 20th arrondissement and one of the newer areas to be incorporated into the city is the easternmost district of Paris. Of all the things to see and do in the 20th arrondissement, Père Lachaise is undoubtedly the most famous. It is where the likes of Oscar Wilde, Jim Morrison and Edith Piaf are buried. Parc de Belleville is also situated in the 20th district and is one of the best parks in the city set on a steep slope providing fantastic views over Paris. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and maybe you learned something new about Paris. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. And stay tuned for more exciting videos coming soon. Ciao!